This is our first composting toilet at Longleaf Breeze. I fully expect that we will replace it with models that are prettier, more refined, whose joints fit better. Um, but for now, this gets us into the uh, game of composting toilets and seems like a good start. Let's look at it piece by piece. What you see on top, of course, is an ordinary toilet seat. The um, elongated seat, which many modern Americans favor, doesn't work well in a composting toilet because you want the, um, well, doesn't work well in our model. Okay, I'm going to lift up the lid. And the inner working of the composting toilet is a five-gallon plastic bucket. We bought these at Home Depot. They're the Homer buckets. And I think when you buy one with a lid, it's maybe four, four and a half dollars, something like that. And I bought four of them so that we can uh, take a bucket out, put a lid on it, and not feel like we've got to run to the compost pile right away. But as you can see, if you were to have a more elongated seat, you might leave a portion of the bucket exposed, which doesn't work well. So that's one of the compromises you make when you go with a composting toilet. No elongated seat, sorry. So when we get ready to empty it, all we do is lift this, this lid up and pick up the bucket. Probably will want to pick it up by the handle then. Just right now, it's just got a little wood ash at the bottom, that's all. And put a lid on it and set it aside. And then when we get three or four buckets full, we will take them to a composting pile, which I hope to have in operation by the time we need it. Now, beside the composting toilet is our ash can. And when, what I do is from the wood stove, I uh, place the ashes in this can, and I fashioned a little scoop out of a plastic jug. So you can just reach over, grab yourself a uh, scoop full of ash, and put it down in the bucket. And kind of come up with toilet paper. But other than that, we're in business.